this is Callum Johnson and you're watching Sporting Icons. So hometown hero Anthony Crawler defeats David Jordan over 12 rounds and it's exactly how I predicted. I thought Anthony Crawler was going to beat him on points over 12 rounds. And that's pretty much what we come to expect with Anthony Crawler, which is good in the fact that he's so skillful and he is stupidly tough and has a very, very good engine on him. So congratulations on him. Uh, for this one, um, I agree with the scorecards, 116-112, um, yeah, yeah, I can certainly agree with it, or maybe 117. Uh, but I think that um, Anthony Crawler, because now he is mandatory challenger to Vasil Lomachenko. Now, if we were to look at that fight, that's a real, real difficult one for Anthony Crawler, and you would heavily, heavily favour Vasil Lomachenko, purely because Anthony Crawler, he likes to put his head on the chest and try and unload deep in the pocket, whereas Vasil Lomachenko moves a lot. So he's not just going to stand there and let Anthony Crawler put his head on his chest. And he's going to outwork, I think, Anthony Crawler. But, listen, I'm Brett. And as much as I love Vasil Lomachenko, and I think he's absolutely fantastic fighter, I would love Anthony Crawler to do the business. And who knows, maybe we can get Vasil Lomachenko over here in the UK at Manchester. So Vasil Lomachenko versus Anthony Crawler in Manchester, that would be absolutely awesome. But for Eddie Hearn match in boxing, they're going to have to outbid Top Rank and Bob Arum to secure that. But either way, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But in this fight, I totally agree with the points uh, win for Anthony Crawler. It's exactly how I thought it was going to be because Crawler has a very good engine and he doesn't really stop punching, but he takes a lot of punches. It's like that's his... One of his tactics is to try and slow down his opponent by taking up shots. But Jordan, I mean, he was throwing some big, big punches. And I'm surprised Crawler didn't go down because Crawler has gone down plenty of occasions in his career, much like with um, Jorge Linares. Now, again, this is a good way to, to weigh up Crawler versus Lomachenko with the fact that Linares got stopped by Vasil Lomachenko. He did drop Lomachenko and... Anthony Crawler went the distance with um, Linares. So, you know what? I think it's going to be a good fight, but I think Vasil Lomachenko will just outdo him. Uh, but I hope to be wrong. So, in this fight, it was a pretty dominant performance. I think that uh, Crawler, he gained a very substantial lead uh, for like the first six or seven rounds and then pretty much took his foot off the gas and or Jordan stepped it up. Maybe Jordan realised that he was behind on points and the Indonesian team was saying to him, you need to go for it now because you're losing this fight royally. Now, it's not like Crawler dominated all those rounds, okay? They were pretty close, but I think Crawler did enough to nick the rounds in all of them. And for the last couple of rounds, I think Jordan was coming on real strong and Crawler was just coasting to a 12-round victory. And that's pretty much the whole story of the fight. There wasn't really anything outstanding. Both of them did take some pretty big big shots. Um, Crawler did get hurt in round number eight, I think it was, with a real deep, deep body shot. And Crawler had to step back and lay on the ropes and just defend himself. But ultimately, he came back and finished the round well. So Crawler's very, very tough and deserved a victory. Yaoud is a... Daoud, sorry. Daoud Yordan is a very, very tough tough man and he didn't really stop punching himself so again he can go back to Indonesia and with his head held high I mean he's definitely a quality opponent that's for sure and I don't know maybe Jordan versus Ricky Burns next that would be pretty good so anyway Anthony Crawler defeats Daoud Jordan over 12 rounds and now is the mandatory challenger for Vasil Lomachenko will that fight happen ultimately um, it'll be dependent on Vasil Lomachenko how he gets on on December the 8th for his unification. Should he win that one? Is he going to vacate? Is he going to move up another division? Who knows what's going to happen? But anyway, you drop your thoughts below about it. Congratulations to Anthony Crawler. Click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.